My name is Andre Leon Gray, and I'm showing my first solo show in Miami called Liberation at Carol Jazara Contemporary Art. This piece is called What Does Revolution Sound Like? And in this piece, uh, it's based in homage to revolutionary heroes. Um, and actually, it's broken down to three different generations, the kind of narrative behind the piece. The main Part of it is this huge uh, tar painting that I did on canvas of uh, Toussaint L'Ouverture, the Haitian revolutionary leader. And below that is an image of this rattan chair, which was famously used in the uh, poster of Huey Newton of the Black Panthers. And below that is a speaker box, commonly used in the back of cars, probably especially in the Miami art scene, the Miami base scene especially back in the days in the 80s and 90s. But the speakers that have been removed is just the grill and the shell of the box itself to represent the new generation that's going on now. Um, the generation basically who don't have a revolutionary voice, particularly when it comes to the music that they listen to or the music that they produce. So this is more or less a, um, a critique of the idea of revolution and the the lack of revolutionary thought in today's youth. The piece itself is about trying to reach a goal. <clears throat> Everyone in life is trying to reach a goal. Uh, there's a certain economic status, a certain status of your job. But this is about overcoming a certain uh, political and social forces that may work against you. That's the name of the, sh the title of the piece, um, I Have a Shot. Uh, kind of a metaphor, I have a shot in life <clears throat> to make it like everyone else. At the top is a formula, which I call a Southern theory of relativity, kind of play on Einstein's theory, but my own kind of uh, mathematical formula to represent um, inequality, especially in America, where X amount of Negroes minus three-fifths of a man is not equal to one Caucasian. This one's called In the Land of the Blonde, the One-Eyed Man is King. I use the old Harvard Classics book cover, Veritas Means Truth, but it's more about the idea of truth and what is truth and what people think they, don't, think they know and what they don't know. This one's called Soldier of an Alternate Destiny, and I kind of thought about this idea of the, what a poker face is. It's, it's more about determining one's destiny and trying to make it happen. Um, since I use different materials in my work, uh, as far as like found objects, I refer to my work as eye gumbo. And eye gumbo is a visual meal for the mind, thickened with a root of black culture, marinated in social commentary, and seasoned with consciousness. These works are meant to challenge the viewer to see the world with an open eye, a third eye that is, to question the historical and contemporary conditions we tend to overlook in our busy lives. I define liberation as my participation in a tradition held by an exclusive membership of power, privilege, and cultural authority. I am the outsider inside the belly of the beast.